Okay, moving to question number 9, let x be a set with exactly 5 elements and y be a set with exactly 7 elements. If alpha is the number of 1 1 functions from x to y and beta is the number of onto functions from y to x, then we have to find the value of 1 by 5 factorial into beta minus alpha. So, let us start this question. Let us consider two sets say x and y, it has 5 elements while the other one has 7 elements, right. Now, they are asking for x be the set with exactly 5, y with exactly 7, alpha is the number of 1 1 functions from x to y. 1 1 function meaning these 5 elements each is associated with exactly 1 element of y and we find that there is no such element in y which is having 2 pre images correct. So, that will give me 1 1. For 1 1 simply we have alpha equals 7 p 5 because first element has 7 choices, second has 6 choices, third has 5 choices and so on. So, 7, 6, 5 and so on the product of this one or simply we can write as 7 p 5. So, it is 7 factorial divided by 2 factorial fine. Next they are talking about beta. What is beta? Beta is number of onto functions from y to x, y to x meaning in x there should not be any element which is not having any pre image in y. So, how we can group these 5 so that we find that no such situation is there. So, these 7 elements have to be associated with 5 such that no element is left alone meaning we can put it like 1 1 1 1 3 one possibility or 1 1 1 2 2 meaning say for example, it is associated with 1, second is associated 1, third with 1, fourth with 1 and fifth is associated with rest of the 3 elements. Similarly, for the next one. Now, how we can find the permutation based on these two configurations? Let us check out. We can simply say 7 factorial divided by 3 factorial multiplied with 1 factorial raised to the power 4 into 4 factorial. Then these can be permuted as in 5 factorial ways, right? Or we can go it like first we arrange for 3 that is 7 c 3 ways multiplied with these 4 into 4 groups with equal elements 1 that is remaining 1 will give me 4 factorial divided by 1 factorial to the power 4 into 4 factorial or directly we can go like 7 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 1 factorial to the power 4 into 4 factorial. For the second one we will have 7 factorial divided by 2 factorial whole square, 1 factorial whole cube multiplied with 2 factorial, 3 factorial and in numerator again arranging in 5 factorial phase. So, these this is our beta. Now, what they have asked for 1 upon 5 factorial multiplied with beta minus alpha this term they have asked for. So, this is simply calculate the value for beta and alpha to get the result as 1 1 9. So, we get the answer for this question as 119. So, this is clear how we get it ok. Moving to the next one that is question number 10. Okay, taking question number 10, f be a differentiable function with the constraint f 0 equals 0 and satisfying the equation d y by d x equals 2 plus 5 y into 5 y minus 2, then we have to find the value for limit x approaching to minus infinity f x. A simple question from differential equation, we can start it as d y divided by we can take these two terms on the left side 
we can write it as y square minus 4 by 25 after taking 25 common is equal to 25 dx correct integrating we have 1 upon 2 a that is 2 by 5 log mod of y minus 2 by 5 divided by y plus 2 by 5 is equal to 25 x plus constant of integration. It is also given that f 0 is 0 that means, when x is 0 then y is also 0. It is giving us when we substitute here 0 and here 0 log 1 becomes 0 meaning c is also 0. We simply have the function changing to as 5 goes in numerator here cancelled out. So, we are getting log 5 y minus 2 divided by 5 y plus 2 is equal to 20 x correct which can further be written as 5 y minus 2 divided by 5 y plus 2 is equal to e to the power 20 x applying component to dividend to get the function y we have the term 10 y divided by minus 4 equals e to the power 20 x plus 1 upon e to the power 20 x minus 1 or simply y equals 2 by 5 1 plus e to the power 20 x divided by 1 minus e to the power 20 x correct. Now, question is asking for limit x approaching to minus infinity f x just take the limiting value when x is approaching to minus infinity. Therefore, limit x approaching to minus infinity y or simply f x is equal to when x is approaching to minus infinity this term goes to 0. Similarly, in the denominator this term is approaching to 0. So, we are getting the result as 2 by 5 or can be written as 0 0.40. Hence, the result comes as 0 0.40 for this question correct. Now, moving to the next one that is question number 11. Okay, taking question number 11, let f be a differentiable function such that f 0 is 1 and it is satisfying one given constraint for all real values of x and y. We have to find the value for log f 4 to the base e. Starting this one, let us put x and y 0 in this given equation. What we obtain? We are getting f 0 equals f 0 into f dash 0 plus f dash 0 into f 0 that is twice. It is given in the question that f 0 is 1 meaning f 0 is not 0. So, we have f dash 0 equals half since f 0 is not 0 correct. Next now put y equal 0 or x equal 0 any of the two variables as 0 in this given equation. So, let us put y equal 0 then we are getting here f x is equal to f dash 0 f x plus f 0 into f dash x. Let us write f x as y so that we can get differential equation as d y by d x form. So, we have d y by d x as f 0 is 1 f dash 0 is half. So, we have f x equals half f x plus f dash x meaning it is simply half y. So, we have d y upon y equals half d x. Integrating this equation we get log y is equal to x pi 2 plus constant of integration. It is given that f 0 is 1. So, when you put x equal 0, y is 1 meaning c comes out as 0. So, since f 0 is 1, it gives me c equals 0. So, simply we have y equals e to the power 
x by 2 as the function. Now, moving to the questions part, what they are asking for? Find the value of log f 4 to the base e. Therefore, log f 4 to the base e equals log e to the power 4 by 2 or simply 2. So, the correct answer for the question comes out as 2. Moving to the next one that is question number 12. 